Oh, welcome back. Now let's play Halo Avenger. Can we? Reach Squillium. We cannot. Poor Squillium, he's still stuck here. He can't figure out how to get around those boxes, and nor can I. We're just stuck on the other side from each other, separated. We'll save you one day, Squillium. Until then. Oh, see, he's been there for so long that Pearl actually saw him just standing there. <laughs> wow. But in fact, it's also in the same area, I believe, that we saw Patrick last time. I need to give something to... Yeah! Did have my right hand on the controller. Could you not... Something so fast. Stop it! Instead of appealing, I'll actually just go into another area and then... I'll just go into another area and die. As dumb as that sounds, but like I've said, this game kind of rewards that type of... that type of behavior. Because it feels easier to do that than to worry about getting... more jelly later. If I can get more health and more jars later, then that might not be so much of an issue. I don't know how much health you can actually have in this game. Or if I'll manage to get all of them either if they're optional. Same for jars. Uh, I can't go to the right here last I saw, because there's just a random sheer cliff. Hey, Squillium. Squillium, there's no boxes there anymore. Are you sure you, you actually trapped back there? There are special boxes that just disappear when you're far away. I still like this eel. Not like gameplay-wise, but like not gameplay-wise. Oops. That's not where I thought that would take me. Was it downtown then that patch was at? I know what the place looked like. I'm just gonna head back to the bus stop over here. Save some time. Okay. Restaurant or downtown? No idea. That's what happens when you haven't played the game for a week. I hate you. Stop jumping. Everyone, we need to just pass a new ordinance to ban jumping in the city. Nice for anyone that isn't a sponge. So I want to see what's up there on that road. I don't know, there's, I just have a suspicion that high roads, elevated roads that I can't access are just like a recurring theme in my life. I go down just already a future that big road that runs over top of... That's not an item. Runs over top of... Maybe it is? I have no idea. Should be a terminal in Jet Sergio Future. You never get to go up there. That's just here. <laughs> in fact, not that I expect anyone playing this or watching this video actually has much money familiarity with the Jets Radio, but in fact, somebody has managed to figure out a way to glitch up there, and it's kind of cool. Anyways. Like, I feel like one... Like, they should take damage or I should take damage, not both. Like, it's... you don't get to have it both ways. You need to make up your mind, game. No! That's not a valid option. What did I just tell you? Alright, that having been addressed again. Look, can you not do this game? <laughs> One or the other. Use this as a checkpoint. This game can use checkpoints. That's one thing that bugs me a bit. Because what I can do, if I want to abuse any mechanics, is I can just do this. 
can respawn here. So now I'm using that as a checkpoint essentially and I got kind of a free heal from it. That's not where I need to be either. Really? Again, rectangular collisions would not make that happen, what just happened just now. That's a circular collision problem. But if I just automatically got a checkpoint each time I pass through all these places, it would be a lot better than having to worry about actually taking the time to go into each of these places individually, the way I've been doing. Is this where Patrick was? Well, some place was kind of out of the way. or something. I thought it was to the left of an area. Which I could be completely wrong about. That looks... Let's just check to the left here. So you also go to Conch Street from here. I thought though that I first saw on the left of Conch Street, which I guess I was wrong about, but that just takes me to Jackson Fields. So I really don't remember where it was now when I saw him. I kind of don't know I'm wasting this much time on this, but if. If this game was in such a maze. Somewhere around here vaguely? There we go. You know what, let's... So you can use the games that can access certain ways and good. That Jack is still here. Actually has some relevance to the game now. It would be nice if characters just stayed in the same location instead of apparently being totally randomized. Like, why is he here as opposed to anywhere else? I don't feel like it should be a task to try to find a character who I've already met before. Like, it. I get that it can make some amount of sense to try to inject a little bit of life into a game by having characters actually go places and do things. But one, nobody tells where Patrick is, so I just have to look for him myself. And two, there's no rhyme or reason to where he is at a given moment. And it's also often just an acceptable break from reality to have somebody stay in one place throughout a game so you know where to find them. It's only one lesson spent on film now. And you know how it went last time. And I found her already. It feels like most of your movement in this game is lateral. It does feel like I'm really moving towards an end goal. You just get more and more stuff to do. Wait, where did you find her? You've been sitting here this whole time, and Sandy's apparently been in the Fields this whole time. What happened? How did you ever cross paths? I guess it tells you she's in Jellyfish Fields, that helps. I know where she is, of course, already, because I found her. I was looking for everything else in the game. But anyway, so where would the closest bus stop be? So little though, you can't just warp in general instead of having to... Actually, take time to find one of the bus stops somewhere. 
another annoying thing with the circular collisions. I land on a slanted surface and I actually bounce in the opposite direction of the slope. And that knocks me into an enemy. Okay. Stop your jumping. I hate your jumping. Alright, I should use my items and then attract a jellyfish to me. Keep messing that up. Okay, now the jellyfish fields. The next place to be. She was I believe she was off to the right somewhere. Of that nature. Double jumping. No, you're not double jumping. Stop single jumping. Stop jumping at all. Legs are banned. Let's go. So nothing going on in the little. Oh no, Sandy was in like a real far out place, wasn't she? Not like cool, but like hard to access. She was just in a random nook over in the back here. If I remember right. Awkward camera angles. Yeah. A little annoying sometimes how. I guess I don't need that. How oh, an enemy stays in your way after you've hit them because they still have collisions. Sometimes, I'm thinking enemies have a tendency to be on thin platforms, which is one annoying enough when they jump up and down. But that can also stop you from landing on the platform sometimes. The show's below here. Okay, random wall there. There you go. Don't know why you decided to stick out here. What is that thing on the right there, anyways? I can't reach. Oh, okay. Finally. <laughs> My new move is being strong. It's, it's a pretty cool move. Throw. It seems like that's how the game uses it most of the time. There's just a box somewhere that you obviously have to pick up and sit down somewhere else to be able to jump over something. Oh, you're not gonna like show me or oh okay. No. You could at least have like a still picture of us doing karate practice or something, like even just a few stock pictures pasted together to represent that. The underside of Sandy's head is also brown. Like dark brown, it's kind of weird. What did I just get to do this? I wasn't reading that, I bet. I think I'm a box, okay. Whoa! Okay, it's kind of weird. You pick it up automatically? Why would that be? You also can't jump. I guess kind of makes sense. Sometimes you can in games like this, but... Who the heck are you? Circle collisions, please. Eh. Take that. Oh. Just gotta talk to you. Did the sinister slug get, like, stuck here? Are you? Like, can you get out? No. Okay. Just letting you know. I like how everyone just acknowledges that you just can't get around that thing there. It's just how the world is. It's how this world works now. You just get one misplaced 
mail shipment and boom, you can't, you either can't get into your home anymore or, and you're just homeless or you're stuck in, at home forever. Okay, another seemingly notable thing that's completely useless because it's gonna become important later when I have to backtrack here again, I guess. This game's oddities. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, next episode. Let's play. Oh. Square Bob with circular collisions. Hi, everyone.